Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a great recipe on how to make gyro bowls. And if you love gyros, you're absolutely going to love this. In fact, uh, you don't even need to have the pitas with it. We're going to show you a version where you build your own bowl with some rice that I'm making right now. And you can check out that video. It's my Instant Pot Rice Pilaf. Go check out how to make that. You're going to love it. It's a, it's a short video. It's about a minute long, but it kind of gives you a general idea on how to make a, a fantastic rice. Let me show you the rest of our ingredients. All right, so I got here, I got an English cucumber. This is also called a seedless cucumber, but I wanna show you how to break that down. I got some sliced red onions. These I had left over uh, from some burgers that we did. Some shredded lettuce, which you can buy already shredded in the bag. Here's some crumbled feta cheese. I have some cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna make a dressing. I'm just gonna use this packet here. This is the Good Seasons Italian dressing packet. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to kind of jazz that up. Some tzatziki sauce. And then of course we have the gyros. These are gyro strips that I got from Restaurant Depot. These are great, uh, made by a company called Kronos. But you could get these anywhere now. I mean, it's pretty readily available. These are fully cooked. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to, how to make those as well. All right, so I'm gonna cut my cherry tomatoes in half. I already did some. And I saw this cool trick somewhere. You take a couple of deli container lids, put the tomatoes in there and sandwich it like this. And then just take your knife, you kind of run it through like that. Obviously just keep your fingers out of the way. And you can see you cut some right in half. All right, now these cucumbers are technically seed, they call them seedless, but I like to take out the, the middle part. There are some seeds. So I just cut the ends off and I'll open the plastic like this set that aside and I do like to peel these so the way I do that is just hold it up like this on your board run your peeler down just like this all right we'll flip it over flip it over and do the other side just like this to get all the skin off all right so this is a little too large to work with so I'm just going to cut it in half like this and I do I do these the same way every time I just cut it long ways like this and then you can see there are some seeds in there so what I do is I just take a teaspoon like this and just scrape them out one side and then the other side. So once I get my seeds scraped out, I just basically cut these into half moons. All right, so for the dressing, very simple. It's the Good Seasons Italian. It's quarter cup of vinegar, half cup of olive oil, a couple tablespoons of water. I followed the instructions and then I'm going to add my own little spin on it i'm going to put some balsamic glaze just for some sweetness and i'm going to put about a teaspoon of some spicy brown mustard keep filming all right i'll just put the what we're going to do is i use these jars i put the lid on it and just give it a good shake all right so everything's ready as far as our toppings and our rice so now we have the gyro strips to deal with and i'm just gonna brown these up and i got a large 12 inch non-stick skillet but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do to make it a little bit more bite size is just break these strips up into smaller pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to brown it up and I'm going to drain the excess fat because some of these gyro strips can be very fatty and greasy and I'm going to get rid of that excess and then we can put it back in the pan and keep it warm until we're ready. All right, so while I brown up my gyro strips, I got, I got a small sheet pan here with some foil on it. I'm just gonna use the same pan. I'm gonna put down a bunch of paper towels and then I'll drain the excess grease uh, right on the same pan. All right, so my gyro strips are cooked and you can see I, I cooked these for about 10 minutes and you got some crispy pieces and really rendered out a lot of that fat. And you can see, you see what I mean? How this can be a little bit greasy. So I'm just gonna drain this all right on these paper towels. All right, so this is what it looks like when it all comes together. And this is how I like to set it up. So I got my gyro meat, I have the rice here, the dressing, and then all the toppings. And you can have folks come and serve themselves. You can put out some wraps, some pitas if you want. It's also great. I'm gonna go ahead and build myself a bowl and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like in the end. I got a little bit of everything, as you can see. I'm just gonna put a nice dollop of the tzatziki sauce right in the middle. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of the dressing 
right around just like this. So that's how you do it. That's how you make gyro bowls. And the other thing we like to do sometimes is make some French fries or onion rings to go with it. And I gotta tell you, our family just goes crazy for this. It's one of the, the most popular dinners that we do. Everybody absolutely loves it. I think you will too. You gotta check this out. Hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you on the next one.